Hey everybody, this is Bill Murphy here with MMORPG.com, and today we're taking a look at Moonrise from Undead Labs, a brand new mobile MMO that's also coming to Steam, which was just recently announced, and in fact we were playing it uh, this past weekend at PAX with Ian from Undead Labs, but rather than taking an, uh, a camera and pointing it at the tablet while we played, we decided to hop in the beta, thanks to our friend Ian and our guys over there at Undead Labs, we got a beta code for the Steam version, uh, and we're going to take a look at that. So uh, Undead Labs is creating Moonrise as a sort of uh, Pokemon for older kids, people that maybe grew up with Pokemon, like myself, and wanted to give it a shot uh, at trying the game now with maybe a little bit more mature setting. But still, the, the basic idea is there's a whole bunch of monsters in the world. You're going to capture them, you're going to battle them against each other, and you're a warden. You're going to figure out why these monsters uh, are, are covered in this, this moon, this darkness, and you're, you're going to uncover them and rescue them and try to get down to the heart of the problem facing the world of Moonrise. Um, pretty simple, straightforward story. Ian tells us that there's about 20 hours worth of content right now um, in, in the beta, and they're almost to the point where they feel like it's releasable, but they're not quite there yet. They keep adding features that they want to add and adding content that they want to add. And once it, it does come out, it will be a free-to-play game. It's not going to be something you have to pay for. Um, from Kabam, the publisher, uh, it's, it's completely free to download on your iPhone. Or it's going to be on your iPad, Android devices, and Steam. Um, obviously, there are microtransactions, and as you can see, there's a sort of energy mechanic in the game, but it's, it's not, like, uh, really restrictive. I was playing it in, in this demo right here, I was playing it for probably over an hour before I needed to uh, worry about running out of tickets to do fights and go into dungeons and things like that. Um, you earn them, uh, you earn the tickets and the keys and all the other types of little currencies uh, just by you know taking a break from the game, but you can also buy them in case you want to go on a super long marathon session. So that that's sort of the, the monetary... Uh, the way they're monetizing the game, it's not really uh, restrictive at all, but I've only been playing for a few hours, so we'll have to see how it gets later in the game. You know, you can't buy power, you're not going to buy uh, top-tier uh, creatures, and you're not going to buy upgrades and things like that. It's pretty much all cosmetic and the ability to play longer and longer, uh, or do more dungeons or more PvP matches, because there is PvP in the game. Um, now, I wouldn't call Moonrise a, a standard MMO. Uh, you share the world of Moonrise with other players. You walk around it, you'll see them, but you don't really interact with them that much outside of PvP. You can add them to your friends list and stuff like that. Um, you can chat with them, but you're not going to play with them. You're not going to go on dungeon runs with them. It's pretty much a solo game. Um, it, you just have a shared world. So they're calling it an MMO, but really it's, it's an MMO in the way that most mobile games are MMOs, is that it's like... You're playing online with other people, but you don't really do anything with them unless you're doing the PvP, so keep that in mind. Um, I will say, however, that this is the fighting in this game, the combat, which is a, kind of the basis around everything for it, is very solid. It's, it's, uh, it's active, it's turn-based, but it's also um, real-time. You don't just wait your turn and then click a skill and then wait your turn again. Your characters recharge their skills in real time and after and they charge up their skills in real time. So after you use a skill, you have to quickly use another one to keep going. Um, and you have to act fast, you have to choose fast. And in PvP, it can get really intense because you have two creatures fighting with you and your warden, you, your character, can also uh, have his own attacks and has his own gear. So in PvP, when you're doing like a tournament mode, you do a draft in the tournament mode, so you don't use your own creatures, you don't use your own gear, you get drafted gear, and you have to pick and switch and choose and hope that the person you're fighting doesn't have a deck better than yours. Uh, it's very cool, um, very intense, but uh, for the most of this demo, you're going to see me going around the world, doing these little quests and advancing the story. Um, obviously, the UI on the PC is very much centered around the tablet and phone UI. Uh, it's it's not something that you yet yet that I think is completely ready for PC deployment. I, I think they were building the game and they said, you know what, we're building this on PC. We could release it on PC to sort of get the PvP crowd and build up the tournaments. Um, they have people that were fantastic PvP designers like uh, 
Jonathan Sharp from ArenaNet. He's contracted for Moonrise. He's helping out with the PvP. Um, there's pro League of Legends players that are actually helping build the PvP, so I think they want to make the PvP a, a, a big part of the game. There was actually a lot of tournaments going on to, to win tablets and stuff at the Moonrise booth, and it was packed. Um, the PvP is very, very fun. Uh, and even though the PvE story is, is pretty good, you know, it's, it's like you go through this little story of this world. You don't really explore the world, though. You don't walk around it like you do in Pokemon. Um, you can move around the screen, but you just kind of drag it left and right, as you see in this, and you do these quests to progress the story. It's still a decently long story for a free-to-play game with uh, 20 hours of play, but I think the long-lasting life uh, of the game is going to be in its PvP and in monster collecting and raising, obviously. Um, but they do plan to add more story, obviously free updates as they go along, they're just going to keep adding to the story and adding to the zones and adding to the creatures. There's already over 160 creatures in the game. Um, and, and really, it's just a lot of fun. This, I mean, I know if you're looking at the screen, it's, it's UI is built for phones and tablets, but I was playing on the PC, and I just didn't want to stop. I kept finding it, like, it's, it's just fun to play. It's fun to do the fights. It's fun to, to kind of raise the creatures and keep going. Um, it, the story's obviously not Shakespeare, but it's, it's fun. You know, it's interesting. Um, it's for your, your late teens and your early 20s, and I'm a 31-year-old, and I'm still enjoying it, so that's okay too, right? Um, in any case, look for more from Moonrise in the coming months because it will be launching in fairly short order. Um, you can get your hands on the closed beta just by signing up at the website and you'll be able to probably win some keys from us here in the very near future. Um, very different game from Undead Labs. Uh, it's not exactly, uh, you know, filled with zombies like the rest of their games have been so far, but they're on to something here because I think there's a, there's a whole genre of monster fighting RPGs and monster collecting RPGs that needs more than just Pokemon uh, to, to kind of kind of push the genre forward and it's it's a pretty fun game i'll put it i'll just leave it at that and watch the video and see if you think so too and of course watch for it on the apple store and the google play store and steam coming very soon thanks a lot guys don't forget to subscribe to us on mmorpg.com without the dot that's on youtube facebook twitter and twitch once again i'm bill murphy thanks for watching